Hey, what do you say weekend warriors? Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to smoke spare ribs in a pellet smoker. But before I do, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It's been a long time since I've used the old trusty. And we're going to have some rain on and off all day. Shouldn't be too bad. Three and a half pound rack of spare ribs. They've done a pretty good job and cleaned these up for me already. A lot of times there's a little skirt here that you would have to trim off and that's not here on this one. As far as the uh, membrane, it's up to you if you want to take it off. I don't bother. You hear a lot of people say that it's uh, not edible. I don't find that to be true. If you cook them right, it'll crisp up. I am going to make some cuts just so that our flavoring can get down in there. And then the only other thing I'm going to do here is real nice and thick meat over here, but very thin over here. So this side is going to burn before this side gets done. So I'm just going to find wherever this first bone is, and we're going to cut this right here. Okay? And we'll just cook this separate. This will get done first and give you something to snack on, right? And here's what's different about the way I've done ribs in the past and showing you. Uh, what I'm gonna do is a two hour marinade with the Secret Aardvark Drunken Jerk Jamaican Marinade. This is really, really good. I use it on beef, pork, chicken. And this really adds just a different flavor profile than you might be used to. So if you're looking for something different, you'll notice I didn't have to put a ton on here. We're just gonna rub it in. Make sure it's coated. Okay, then we'll flip it over. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And the nice thing about this method is you don't need any barbecue rub. We're still gonna use regular barbecue sauce at the end, but you won't need to use any rub on this. And this has in it apple cider vinegar, water, onions, rum, habanero peppers, salt, garlic, some oil, spices, and some sugar. Everything you need. All right, so this is gonna go in a container in the refrigerator for two hours. In the meantime, I've gotta buy some pellets for the smoker I've got to get a haircut, so I've got plenty of time while this marinades. Picked up some pecan pellets, got a nice fresh haircut, and we're going to start off today on the smoke setting, the lowest setting for about the first hour. Go ahead and put the ribs in right about the center rack. Let's not forget about that guy. I'll go ahead and get this door closed and I'm going to open this chimney cap almost all the way up. That's how I do it in the warm months. In the winter time if I'm using this I'll put it down about halfway. And the idea here with putting it on the smoke setting is it's going to be at a very low temperature uh, generating smoke which will hopefully absorb into the ribs. And you can see we've got this nice steady stream of smoke coming out. We're going to let that go for the next hour really pump in the smoke flavor into those ribs and then we're going to kick up the heat to about 250 degrees fahrenheit in one hour and we'll show you how that looks and while those are getting the smoke treatment let me show you how to make a really simple german potato salad you're going to need some dijon some red wine vinegar some extra virgin olive oil i have three pounds of red skin potatoes that are boiling right now and some salted water we're going to get those soft but not too soft we don't want them to fall apart ironically we're going to use a french vinaigrette on a german potato salad so we're going to go with just a little bit more than a quarter cup of the extra virgin olive oil about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of dijon mustard combine the two with a whisk until that mustard breaks down and gets incorporated now we're gonna add three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. And now whisk until it emulsifies. Red onion, 
finely chopped, as fine as you can get it. And then I've got about a dozen or so Greek pitted black olives. Kalamata olives uh, work good for this as well. You're just gonna smash them. And then we'll just cut them. Nothing fancy. The potatoes for the potato salad are done boiling. They just have to cool down a little bit before we cut them. Uh, in the meantime, it's been one hour. So let's pop this open and see how they look. As you may have expected, they don't look cooked at all, and they shouldn't be. This thing's running at about 140, 145 degrees Fahrenheit for the past hour. Just enough to keep that smoke rolling nice and steady. So now we're gonna turn it up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we can start to render some fat, get these guys cooking. We're gonna go three hours. Every hour, I might not show it on camera, every hour I'm gonna come out and flip the ribs over. We get a little bit better even cooking that way. The potatoes are done. I've already went ahead and cut them. I'm not gonna bore you with all that. And then we're gonna take our vinaigrette, dump it in, and toss them. Should be plenty in there to, to coat these completely. Okay, from here, you're gonna wanna taste one and see if they need any more salt or pepper. So now we take, put in some kind of a serving tray or dish, put as little or much onion as you like. I feel like this is an important ingredient. It's got a nice bite to it. Did about half of an onion. And now the black olives. Just scatter those about. Finish it off with some flat leaf parsley. I like the flavor, plus it just looks good. And I'll try a bite. That's really good. We are getting close. So right now we've been cooking at three hours at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Prior to that, we did one hour on the smoke setting. Look at the color on them. So what we're gonna do is take these over and wrap them in foil. I'm gonna lay down just a little bit of beer so we can create some steam. And we're gonna crank this up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. At this point, we don't care about smoke flavor. They're gonna be wrapped in foil. We just wanna get a little bit more pullback on the bones, which will happen with the steam process. We're going meat side down. And if you don't want to use beer, you could use apple juice, anything you want, really. Water. I like the flavor from the beer, though. Go ahead. Wrap them up. Put them back in. And you could do this for 30 minutes to an hour. It just depends on how tender you like them. I'm just looking for a little bit more pullback on the bones. Then we'll put some sauce on it. Maybe they'll stay in for another 15 minutes after that, and then we'll slice them up, and I'll show you as we get there. Here's how they look after 30 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit in the foil. This is one of my favorite all-time barbecue sauces. It pairs really well with the jerk marinade that we used earlier. Lay down a little bit on the backside, brush it on. Then we'll flip them over and do the same thing on the top side. Now these are gonna go back in the smoker. I'm just gonna leave it at 300 degrees and this sauce will firm up a little bit and then we'll be ready to take them out and cut them up after a short 10 to 15 minute rest. Here they are, all cut up. As a final touch, if you have a blowtorch, I love doing this. Let's just add a little bit of char on top, give it some grill flavor on top of all the smoke flavor. Doesn't take much. And now I'm gonna enjoy one of my favorite ways 
to make ribs and a pellet smoker. It's awesome. Great flavor combo. Let's give it a shot. Pulls right off the bone. Well, that's it for this episode. I'll leave some links down below. If you want to buy any of the stuff you saw, go check it out. I promise you're going to love it. And I'll see you on the next one.